Hey guys, surprise. And it's been a few days. Uh, I figured that maybe a good idea if I, I did a video. And uh, just so happens, I had something for you. Something you weren't expecting. Actually, I think I did mention it. A surprise. <coughs> Ugly came out with a new sparkling water flavor special for last month or this month or whatever. Yes, this month. Limited edition. So that is what I bring you. I bring you sustenance. I sustain you in these hard times. So. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, it's not like, it's like, like, here, here, here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't know, it's, it's, yeah, sorry, it's one of those days, but, what I wanted to do for you guys today, okay, that's upsetting, see, I really, really was hoping that I could get this all set up and nice so that I could get this. Yeah, it's just me. Ah, yes. Pour the ice out. It's not on here. It wasn't very cold in the fridge, and I had to put it in a container. Uh, I had to put it in an ice thing, and uh, yes, ice, ice, too much ice. <laughs> yeah. Ah! That's that's. I'm gonna get out of the car with a wet spot. So I can't do anything. Oh, well. <coughs> it's very cold. Mm. Ooh. It's right in the ghoulies. Okay. Ugly Water came out with another sparkling flavor drink. And guess what? Here it is. Limited edition marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. Zeroes all the way down with this bad boy. There's no sugar, no sodium, no nothing. It is marshmallow flavored sparkling water. I kid you not. A marshmallow after my own body texture. But no, I got them in. They were in the fridge, and as soon as the end of the day popped up, and then I put them in like two hours till. So when I got there, I was like, oh, they're not really cold. So I put it in my cup. Put ice in it and let it sit in there. Problem is, it's kind of sunk into the ice, so that's why it took so long to get it out. And why I now have cold um, testicles. Mm. Uh, actually, I think it's running down my leg. But anyway, marshmallow it up. Oh, it's you know one of the one of the my new the newest guy that's that's now working for us. He was saying that um, it's probably going to be like the cereal marshmallows, you know? Like you can open a bag of marshmallows and smell marshmallows, but like when you open a bag of like something that has like <coughs> the cereal marshmallows or you just grab a handful of cereal, marshmallow, you know, that stuff, and then you eat it, it's kind of hard, but it's chewy. And the smell, that's what it smells like. <laughs> oh my goodness oh sweet baby Jesus <laughs> it's it tastes so much like candy marshmallow but it's, it's like it's 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 sweet but not sweet. 
It literally is the flavor of cereal canning marshmallow. Wow. You know, I heard somewhere, and I don't know if this is I don't know if this is true or not. I believe that it's it's either a mix of fact and fiction. But somebody said that Skittles all taste the same, but they taste different to us because of the color that we see. Like, if you were to have Skittles in your mouth and you're chewing on them, and your eyes are closed, and, you, and somebody gives you a purple one, it's not going to taste like grape until you see it. And I'm like, yeah. I'd like to try that sometime. But I've heard that. It's also, it's kind of scary. But it does also work into our science of sense memory uh, that we've discussed so many times before. Things that will remind you of things. That's why um, when they talk about doing like scratch and sniff stickers and stuff like that, there you go. And it's not gross enough. It's not gross, for one. It's not disgusting. It's just... I think... And it's just to seem kind of weird. But I think that if it were sweet, if it were truly, like, marshmallowy, it wouldn't be so bad. And oddly enough, if it were creamy, this would act... Like, with a little bit of... A hint of, like, a, a cream or whatever, but with the sweetened... You know, sweetness of it this could be an interesting drink but or ah a coffee yeah can you imagine doing like a coffee that way I think that could be uh, I think that could be interesting um, I'm kind of I'm kind of interested in that idea that's uh that's giving me uh, it's right on my flagpole you know <coughs> also somebody mentioned something about um, one of my co-workers had mentioned something about, well, what if you added it with uh, alcohol, you know? And I was like, well, that's that's something else that I talk about, is uh, trying to you know do that with alcohol. And so I was trying to think of the different flavors that I could add. And it turned out to be a very interesting conversation. I think, like, a chocolate, like Kahlua, or some kind of... some kind, some kind of a chocolate tasting and maybe some caramel I think that could be too, good too and you can get kind of a s'mores thing going, you know chocolate and uh, <laughs> graham cracker liqueur well, I wonder if that exists they'd be like graham cracker liqueur or a waffle. No, that would be a syrup, I guess. Mm. <sighs> Actually, I wonder how much a, how a syrup would be. Like, say, Aunt Jemima or something. Pour a little bit in here instead of sugar. Putting syrup in instead. Mixing it up and seeing if... It's, you know? Yeah. I'm sorry, man. My brain is just like... You know, you ever want to get that where you're just sleepy? And you're just talking about something? You're like, man, it'd be really cool if I did that. And all of a sudden, you're just like... The last thing you heard was, did that. And you don't know... If for an instant, for just a that second... It's like, wait. Wait. Is there what? What'd you say? It's not, it's not horrible, for sure. Um, I like the fact that it's so fucking honest. It's like, this is marshmallow, and you're like, bullshit! Holy shit, it's marshmallow. I mean, literally, it is just kind of like, oh, uh, what's up, fuck? It's a 
marshmallow. That could never happen. Yeah. Marshmallow. Uh, but, ooh. I would like to see a caramel apple. That might be kind of neat. Because I know they did a sour apple. I know they did like a green apple uh, or something. I think that caramel apple might be kind of interesting. Anyway, um, as always, I'm Mr. Drinking Lawn, and I'm wishing you health, health, love, but a time to go so to enjoy it all down to the last drop, and no, I have not forgotten to do my numbers. Uh, on the five scale, I'm giving this a three, is what I'm giving it, because it's good, it's a good thing, and I think you'd like it, maybe. So, and I'm going to switch over now to the ten the tens, the ten pause for you well, if you want to maybe, I don't know come on uh, but seriously come on mm, ten scale I'm going to have to give it a six I really like the flavor and I think it could be better um, but it's just it's, it's, it's good but it, it's not it's, it's it's marshmallow it's it's freaking oh. it, it tastes like sparkling water I splashed with marshmallow and it's not bad it's just like no, no, close it doesn't leave a bad aftertaste and honestly, okay, it is above five, in my opinion. The flavor itself proves that what they can do. It's it's good. And it's drinkable and it's fun. But not something I would drink all the time. I kind of it's teeter tottering between five and six. Um, but it's a it's a good drink. It's it's decent. And I think that if it were added with stuff, it would probably be better. I'm gonna try it with a little sweetener. I have another can. In fact, I got a, a lot more. Um, yeah, have some of the guys try it and work, see what they think. And uh, I go from there. But it's been a few days since you've seen uh, my work. So I'm hoping to get this up tomorrow. <sighs> Maybe upload it tomorrow as well. Uh, that will be Friday. Oh, the 20... The... Anyway, uh, wait, 23rd, 24th, Friday the 24th, and, uh, but yeah, I just want to let y'all know that I was thinking about you, and, uh, you know, as always, I am super excited, and I wish you health, wealth, and love, and have chat, and make Augustus enjoy it all, down to the last Bye, guys.